is that I am Ward Barch from Car Parts R Us. And today I want to talk to you about bad boy buggies. I have lots of people that call me every week. And this video is to help those people that call me. Now I have to call me so often. So I can give them all the beginnings of the information they need to repair their golf, their uh, bad boy buggy. So the story begins is many people buy used bad boy buggies for a very good price, anywhere from free to $2,000. And the guy they bought it from says, oh, it runs fine, this batteries went down, and uh, and I don't know what's wrong with it, I don't want to mess with it. The truth is, they don't want to spend any more money on it, because new motors are $1,000 plus, the controller to rebuild it is $700, and uh, they don't understand the wiring and what's really going on with the Navitas. And we're talking right now about Navitas controllers. This is 2012 and below. And the two uh, AMD motors. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is uh, you, you call me normally. You call with a controller you think needs to be, to be rebuilt. And that is very true. I've never had a controller that I sent in that was, didn't need to re, be rebuilt. They're always bad because usually the rear motor is bad. And so you have to uh, inspect the motors and both motors in the end. And you have to make sure they're good because the motors are the foundation of your golf cart. And you have invested money in this thing and you may have bought a set of batteries because they were low or no good because the customer let it set forever and ever because he didn't want to put any more money into it. He was sick of it. But you were the light, lucky guy that bought this treasure, and now you get to put money into it. So the first thing you do is you have to check your motors. Right? Once they're good, then you can afford to uh, repair your controller, which is six ninety nine ninety nine plus 20 bucks shipping it back to you. And you have a year warranty. If you don't inspect the motors and show me the condition of the motors, you have no warranty. If, the, if you put the new controller in, the rebuilt controller in, and it blows it, they have to rebuild it again, and they charge me again, and I charge you again. That's why I emphasize this video to uh, make sure your motors are good. This is the same with any golf cart. If it's not running and the controller is bad, you must pull the controller. Just because it runs doesn't mean it's good. Because it could be right on the edge, you're going bad. And it gets to arcing in shorts, burns up the armature, and blows the controller. So, first thing you do is you uh, disconnect the batteries. Then you uh, mark all the wires to both motors. And then you pull the motor out and you set it on the bench or on the floor and you get a hammer and a block of wood and then you tap on the coupling the part that connects to the rear end when it's together you tap on it it'll separate into two pieces at that point you take it you set it on its end and you lift off the field and the outer case and set it down that part should be good and you look and now you can look at your brushes and your your armature and your brush holder so all those things have to be good. So usually you, you'll find it very worn or black or very coated with black with carbon junk all over inside. Anyway, uh, you can even, when you, if you when you're doing this process, you, you can even call me on FaceTime and I can look at it with you and give you advice. What, and I have all the parts. You can get armatures. I can give you armatures, um, brushes, brush holder, whatever you may need. The, usually the brush holder, an eight brush motor, which the, eight, the rear one for sure usually is, it's $200 for a set of brushes and a brush holder, $100 each plus $15 shipping. And you do that. Then now we fill out a form for your uh, controller so you can send it in and get a rebuild. That's not a quick process. It takes about three weeks for them to uh, repair it and then send it back to you. So, and for where we send the controller, there's state tax on your 
on your repair of your controller. Um, on my cost. So there's there is a cost besides the the six ninety nine and the nineteen ninety nine. There is state tax charged also. So that's the basics to give you an idea of what you need to know. And hopefully I'll put up diagrams and stuff, um, wiring diagrams. So you can have a wiring diagram to see how this thing works. It's really, a, they're really a great golf cart. If you take care of them right, and if you, if you live in Louisiana, places like that, what happens is, which a lot of them are down in Louisiana, is they go hunting them. And uh, they like them because they're quiet and they can sneak up on the deer and flam with an arrow or with, with a gun. So what happens is the brush swells from the moisture down in Louisiana and Georgia and those areas and the brush holder sticks in the brush holder and then as, a, as the motor runs it wears the brush away and it creates a gap bigger and bigger and bigger and then it starts arcing, 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 arcing and transferring the, the carbon to the surface of the armature and usually grooving it and burning spots in it and ruining it. So the earlier you catch it, the better. Many times you can you can put it on, take it apart, put the armature on a on a growler, and they can at a uh, motor rebuild place. They can tell you if there's any shorts internally. If it's shot, it can't be repaired. So that's about all for now. You've got the beginnings of what to do to. Uh, Make sure that you don't have to buy a controller rebuild twice. You get good motors, good parts, and you keep it keep it running, and you'll be satisfied with it because once they're running, they're a great vehicle. But if you live around moisture, just know this is going to happen again. So, God bless you. Don't forget, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. May he be yours also. Thanks for watching.